Hey, welcome again to this video. This is part two, and you're going to see part two and part three. In this video, I'm going to talk about what B-roll is, and I'm going to actually demonstrate to you what B-roll is instead of explaining it to you. So you can actually see it in this video. And then in the next video, I will show you how I created the B-roll in this video. It's really, really simple, actually. You'd simply need two different videos. And for example, I'm recording this video right now for you, but I'm also going to insert some video footage of an event I was at recently here in San Antonio, Texas called Fiesta. And it's a street festival. It's huge. So while I'm talking about Fiesta, I can play a little footage from Fiesta over it. You can still hear my voice, but you're looking at video of Fiesta. Pretty professional, right? The question is, how do we film video that's going to be perfect to put some B-roll into? So in the first video, we talked about how to do this, how to create little informational videos and simply point the camera at yourself and talk, right? But what I like to do is start with the B-roll in mind. So if I find a marketing lesson that I want to share with my audience, I take my camera and I go film some footage on it. So if you're a commercial mover, and I was at the commercial moving conference, so we were talking a lot about commercial moving, you do a walk around with your client before you give them a proposal. And you may see a really cool marketing lesson as you're walking around, so you record some footage. Maybe you record some video of footage as you're entering the building. Some different footage that you can talk about and string together in a marketing lesson. And I'll give you an example from Fiesta. So I'm walking around Fiesta and there are tons and tons of vendors all over the place. The competition is fierce. And in every store is they're selling products that are virtually the same, you know, really local, uh, cool items, tourist type stuff. And it's all really the same. So one store doesn't really look different than the other store. So how do you differentiate yourself so that you stand out from the competition? Now, I saw a couple of problems. I went to one store and I saw this sign that said, do not touch the puppets. They were selling puppets and they had a sign that said, do not touch the puppets. Now, how crazy is that to say, do not touch the puppets? Like, don't you want people to buy them? You know, if I was selling those puppets, I would have tore that sign down and I would have grabbed the puppets and I would have been playing with them and attracting a crowd of kids around me. And then I would have figured out a way to get those kids using it. Maybe I would have taught them a little lesson on how to use them and then get them using them. Now the parents are going to walk away either proud owners of that new puppet or they're going to be dragging a crying kid off because the child is upset that they didn't get to buy that puppet. I walked by another store. In the front, right by the door, this store was empty. And the store had, but the, it had a sign that said, no food or drink allowed. Now, here's the thing about that. It's Fiesta. There's tons of food vendors all over the place, and people are walking around with food and drink. So all you did by putting that sign up that says, do not enter with food or drink, is detour people from coming into your, off, into your store that you're probably paying a premium price for because it's by the entrance, and it's completely empty where the other stores have people in them. So what's this little lesson about that I put together to show you how B-roll can spice up a video is we need to compete. We need to stand out to, to compete well. But the real big lesson is don't do things that are going to help you to compete less, help you to stand out less. Don't be a non-stand. Don't work to try and not stand out. You have to do things that are going to differentiate yourself. So tear down those stupid signs and show people how to, how to, you know, let them come into your store with food and drink. Let them play with the puppets. You know what? If something gets damaged, that's the cost of doing business. And that's, you're going to sell more stuff and you'll make up for that revenue. So that's the video, folks, a little informational video with some B-roll added to it to spice it up. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to put the B-roll together.